as most of us have been watching the stock market go up and down, and every um, so often, how often do they do the jobs report? Anyways, we've been watching the figure go uh, 9.1. Now it's down at 8.6, but it's not showing those that are off the records anymore. So it's not giving us a true figure of where our unemployment rate is. And I think it's wrong. <laughs> is there something that can be done about that? Do you see that happening? I sure do in this campaign because I'm going to keep on talking about the number of people who are unemployed and the number of people who stopped looking for work as well as the number of people who are in part-time jobs because they can't get full-time work. And that number is roughly 26 million Americans. And, and it, it, is, um, it is heartbreaking. I, I meet people every time I'm campaigning. I was just in Milford today and talking to people in the, in the Oval there. As I, as I speak with them, I, I hear time and time again people really struggling to make ends meet and people having a hard time finding work. And, and two or three people said to me, this was a big long line. I got a chance to meet a lot of people there today because they were lined up to see Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so as a good politician, I saw an opportunity. <laughs> I got there in the front of the line and walked down the line, and, and, and one of the people there said, actually more than one, said to me, said, you know, when we looked at those employment numbers, what we saw was the percentage of people unemployed went down, but the number of people that had stopped looking was the reason it went down, or a big part of the reason why it went down. We need to hear that time and time again. Look, this, uh, the other thing, so we got to talk about that number. You're right. There's another one I, I saw... A headline today that the President Obama is looking for unemployment to get down to 8% by his time for re-election. I, I, I hope it gets to 8% or lower, but, but let me tell you this. Uh, when he was encouraging us to support his, his uh, $787 billion stimulus package, and that was three years ago, he said that if we borrowed all that money, that he'd hold unemployment below 8%. It has not been below 8% since, and we're going to... Go, we're going to be after him day in and day out saying, Mr. President, you set the bogey at 8%. 8% is not success. 8% is failure. We need to get far, far, far below it. And that's in part why I'm in this race. I know the economy. I know how it works. I know that what he has done has made it harder for this economy to recover. I know what it takes to make America the most attractive place in the world for job growth. I, I know how to do that. I'll make this the place where every entrepreneur wants to be, where every inventor says, I want to be in America. Where if you're building a new manufacturing facility, you say, I want it to be in the United States of America. We do that, and we'll put people to work again. I know how to do it, and I get the job done.